hello guys welcome to my lazy panda tech blog and in this blog i am going to create uh, a micro content application using single spa framework and um, uh, mainly uh, we need to first understand like what is micro content architecture first so micro content architecture is actually a uh, a large scale web application which can be built multiple small sub application which works as an individual independently and hosted in different um, server as well or different port as well and um, put across all those sub application or micro application in together and uh, the whole the overall experience of all the micro app will um, be taken care by one single application and the it serve your same user experience um, um, instead of a monolith application so this micro front end application is actually built up because that monolith application is difficult to manage and over the years suppose our application is created over the years and um, many different version different module different um, uh, developers has worked on it and uh, later days it is really difficult for the business as well as for the developer who is working on that application it's really difficult to manage the code lane later days i am talking about suppose a application created for last three years and someone um, uh, is going to support on that application he will be in trouble and business will also gets impacted because of uh, this such flexibility is not at all being there so that is why that micro front end architecture is being introduced let's first understand that what is micro front end architecture micro front end architecture actually comes with a microservice in case of nowadays it is very much common for most of the developer most of the user like micro what is microservice microservice is but still i am just saying like microservice is just an a uh, kind of architectural style where multiple loosely coupled subsystem work together and uh, serve the purpose that's it so like that way micro front end is also uh, being introduced and it will also like uh, do act like the same way meaning multiple sub application suppose application one which is built on angular de developed and deployed separately application two which built on react de developed individually deployed and um, through different CI CD pipeline application 3 angular again create um, um, independently and deployed as well as different CI CD pipeline now we have all the four application now four application will be put across and together and get the same user experience is called the micro front end architecture micro front end architecture in one single application now this such kind of application can be achieved using iframe external app bootstrapping and single spa library iframe is um, it's very older technology M many of us already worked with iframe but and eventually everyone understand that what is the pain with iframe uh, mainly the iframes are not at all responsive uh, it is not mobile friendly it is not um, uh, defined browser friendly and whenever browser uh, showing in different resolution the iframe itself is will not be able to um, quiz or um, extend by itself so iframes are not responsive you will get a horizontal and vertical scroll uh, which really looks bad for the user experience as well as iframe is going to be a slow suppose your application is using multiple apis and multiple um, wizard or whatever um, connection you uh, your application using that http connection it is using all are 
very much fast you are suppose you are doing a drawing a chart drawing a uh, report or something in that case if you have iframe in that particular page it is really difficult for application because one single connection pool will be used all the api call all the page request whatever the css you are asking everything will be managed one single connection pool and gradually the uh, responses will be slow so iframe is um, good but uh, I am recommend, recommending do not achieve micro front end application using iframe. Uh, there is a pain in later days as well. So, next one is the app bootstrapping as a micro front end. App bootstrapping it is a really good, um, good example which Angular uh, has already created. Angular build up Angular elements, and using that element, uh, you can create a tag custom tag basically like slash uh, um, uh, HTML deep span like that tag you can create a uh, your custom tag and you can uh, use it uh, the tag in uh, different application as well so first one um, you have to create when you if you are aware about like that angular uh, front you can create a um, module in that module you need to override that ng do bootstrap method and you can um, create one custom component which uh, like that way you can create one custom component and then um, you can be specify a name of that component and uh, you can deploy the code in different uh, hosting area and you can use that tag in one of in your um, uh, main application that is the one of the good way to achieve micro front end but still there is some issues with that uh, area um, like uh, it is uh, it is really difficult it is uh, version is not being maintained uh, for different uh, different technology like uh, react view for that um, uh, this custom element uh, may not work for your purpose as well next one is the singles per framework singles per frame micro front end is really good and uh, i am really happy to use that single spa framework in uh, my application as well so that is the framework single spa framework already have worked on the angular react view they have created a library just run that command your application is being ready with your uh, micro front end uh, architecture pattern and you can use the application um, uh, like um, like a ch the the application is become a, like a ch act like a charm. I mean uh, this is a really good way to build your single spy application. Now let's see how you can build the application. So one of the very simple code base I have created using single spa. There I have four application one application is the vanilla javascript which is main container main container application is basically having the configuration and common dependencies second application is created on angular which ma will manage the navigations of the application profile application is something like uh, build on react and it is independent and uh, it will show how many now uh, what is the name image um, profile image like that and country list application which is I am just creating one simple component which will fetch the list of countries and uh, so in um, in the main page so it, it will also build on angular so single spa framework provide multiple npm libraries which is single spa angular single spa react single spa view like that way so in case of your angular application you need to integrate you need to install your that library and that library will provide that bootstrapping mounting and unmounting facilities like a react as well like view as well so those I am going to demonstrate with the single code base as well. 
and uh, if you are interested to understand the single spa framework just go there and uh, you can get the good experience there like they have um, they have uh, all the documentations um, really they have uh, and the forum is active if you ask any questions they will definitely reply to your ask as well even if you have any ask or any comments any suggestion you can also write here as well i'll be there uh, to reply your comments as well okay let's start with the application once so i have four application one is container app detail app navigation and profile so let me first open the container container application is basically uh, con it it will generate the config and common dependencies meaning all the applications which are i am going to add in with the parent application all the application name must be written in here so right now config application app navigation app profile and app details four application i have already imported in system uh, system js import web section so uh, so these are my parent application this application needs to be run fast application the first application is run let me go there so app one main container vanilla javascript application is running but nothing is there just have a look in uh, all section let me do a refresh so all the related dependencies and the config is being downloaded here but main application is not pre present those are not present so let's bring that bring those up here yeah. just closing it i'm creating another terminal and now i am going to launch the app navigation App navigation application is built on Angular. remove some CSS file let me build it again Okay, build this succeeded and uh, let me open the uh, run the application in server. 
so this application i am going to run it on 4400 Now coming back here, I am as this is the parent application, so I am just going to refresh the page. See, now the routing navigation is came, which is saying application to app navi app navigation that Angular application is there. So I have routing here, home and technology, but nothing is being there uh, for the time being. Now let's bootstrap another application let's say uh, app details Build is accelerated. So this application is running on forty six thousand. Forty six hundred. So let me just do a refresh. So in home section. Uh, this page is being uh, detail section is being added so let's uh, also you can notice like the bootstrap is working together in parent as well as the child application as well the main navigation application as well as the underneath application as well all of those are till now angular application so this is the way uh, routing is working and you can bootstrapping individual application now let's bring the react application as well profile and creating another one Now just I'm um, doing a refresh. See the React application is also appear here, and uh, in technology routing you can do whatever you want, and uh, this is a really good way uh, to have the application. And at the any moment you can do refresh your application um, as well from browser refresh, but the experience will be uh, it's really awesome and now let's see what the changes you need to make uh, in your application as well when you are creating any angular application first uh, i'm using angular 8 for uh, angular version 8 for angular application and react version 16 for react application so you need to create first one angular application and then you need to add ng add a single spy angular this one automatically take care of all of the settings like in angular section the command will be changed build command will be changed in main file it will be another file will be created that main.singlespa.ts file where the uh, bootstrapping and unmounting let me go to one of the application so this is your uh, going to be a main dot single spot dot ts file and uh, this one in this one will be created when you run the command 
and bootstrap mount and mount those methods will be automatically gets added and this is really important um, without those bootstrapping this application this small application will not work um, not associate with the main container application as well but and also how you will add the any application in one of the particular section so in that case you need to mention the id which is the uh, in one of the like let me go there so in country list um, uh, how i am doing it let me inspect the code once so just have a look like um, in um, uh, deep section i am here i am adding one one more application here so app details id i am just searching throughout the dom that where the id is being present and in that id i am adding another application uh, um, uh, so for that one you need to have this type of uh, method being created dom element getter and this will search the id throughout the application create the one of create the div and then add the application here and uh, definitely this application should be mentioned in container in config.js file where you need to define the app details as well so uh, those are the very basic steps uh, you need to follow and uh, once you are done with all of your changes uh, just uh, deploy it in different defined um, terminal uh, and get the experience as well and while uh, using that angular uh, single spy angular you probably get the uh, buffer error that uh, you can solve it out of like uh, either solution one or solution two there are some problems difficulties with the micro front end as this is a new um, and um, there are many lot things to be done but which i ha have assumed i i am thinking as well as i have not experienced those but um, i am assuming those could be the shortcoming for a single spy application like um, different version can be used probably those can be uh, causing some dependencies and multiple suppose i am configure i am comfortable with bootstrap someone else is configure um, um, interested to use something else so multiple css can be used and eventually it will be a duplicate or um, uh, it it will be a it may conflict something so suppose having same look look and feel is bit difficult for that one team each and every team needs to communicate to each other it cannot be um, uh, it will be difficult uh, if they didn't communicate those things earlier so third point is as every every um, every application micro application is communicating with the other application uh, via the event listener uh, so the or event bus or window object so uh, it's developer responsibility to take care of those things remove event listener is also developer responsibility otherwise uh, it will end up with a lot of uh, memory leaks as well and uh, also definitely duplicate code can be downloaded um, and that uh, really needs to take care by uh, with um, with special um, I mean, you need to you need to depend upon something like it should not uh, download the duplicate code. It um, the duplicate code could be managed by some different way. Uh, then one also like um, um, SEO is really difficult. I mean, uh, you are running on different server and uh, probably if you are using that uh, pre uh, pre render then it could be difficult but if you are running the application on uh, server side you can create you need to create one server and each that server will serve uh, the application then seo uh, could be possible but um, 
there could be some difficulties as well and uh, CICD pipeline as well as every team will going to create it so uh, you need to be cautious like which uh, application needs to come first if it has some dependencies or anything no I am not talking about the data or any other dependencies but which one will come first first uh, routing should come then the detail page then the profile like that way you need to uh, configure your pipeline which one will come first which one which one will um, uh, execute last so those are the all shortcomings i um, i am just assuming but eventually those can be uh, removed over the years as well and um, now the question is how you can deploy the um, um, micro front end application in aws that also i have tried like uh, you your main container application that needs to be run in ec2 server or serverless lambda function you can install nginx there and nginx um, you can configure uh, that uh, config file and common dependencies should run first and all of those other micro application you can put it in s3 bucket hosting uh, as a static web hosting and then you can create uh, those as in CDN using a cloud front and um, using our route 53 you can put your domain name and um, you can add those endpoints those micro application endpoint in your main container application and that's it uh, you hit the main container application and or uh, eventually all the smaller applications gets injected lazily loaded in your application so uh, that is the uh, that is way you can achieve micro front end application if you like the concept if you have any suggestions just uh, add your comments if you like that uh, blog then just like that video subscribe my channel and put across your queries as well so i will also definitely respond to you back uh, thank you We'll come back with uh, something new topic later days. Thank you. Bye.